Hey everybody, and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and, and look at a quick test under the frequencies module called the binomial test when you have two outcomes. As always, I'm using the latest version available from the folks at Jamovi Stats. And uh, it's version 1.6.6, has all of the newest features. Uh, but if you want a stable build, go ahead and download 1.2.27 for all platforms. Okay, so let's open up some data and uh, we'll come back to it. All right, so here we have some data from a study that I did in uh, early graduate school. And I had a bit of, I'm going to expand this a little bit to show you here. So I have a bit of um, uh, proportional data here to, to kind of use the binomial test. And proportional data is really good because there are two outcomes. And so we can then use binomial to compare to, I don't know, say 0.5 for chance. So let's go up to frequencies. We click on that. And you can see that the tests are all laid out in whatever kind of uh, tests they are. So we have one sample proportion test. So we have the binomial test, which we'll be doing. Uh, N outcomes. So anything above two, I would imagine, would be the chi-square goodness of fit. And then we can do contingency tables, which includes the chi-square test of association of independent samples and the McNamara test for paired samples. And these are if you have a categorical IV as well as a categorical DV. So let's go into binomial test. We are going to have a categorical IV and a categorical DV. And binomial tests are fairly simple. And I like how in this, uh, the Bayesian stats are already included. I am not going to talk about this because I am not a Bayesian statistician. So I'm just going to talk about the frequentist form of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in average true and average false in, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, no, it's booklet uh, that I wanted to do because, again, it is categorical. So we need to find uh, variables that have these things, okay? And um, the values are not counts, so we don't want that. And our test value is what would be considered chance. So if there are four options, then you might put 0.25, like if it's a, a, a multiple choice question or something like that. But here, there are only two options, and so I'm going to test against 0.5 because that's my chance. The binomial test is going to tell you whether or not the proportion that you observe in your outcome is great is significantly greater or significantly less than the test value and that's the first hypothesis here as well uh, so if we could use test value of 0.5 and we use not equal to then the binomial uh, the binomial calculation is going to look at a distributed alpha on either side of the binomial distribution and see whether or not our outcome is significantly greater or less than uh, 0.5. Now we could also do um, the greater than test value. So here we would be saying that the proportions that we observe are significantly greater than 0.5. And then we could also do less than. So that same hypothesis but less than 0.5. So we are trying to observe proportions that are less than 0.5. So, and you can see what happens to the p-values here when we just look at this very basic outcome. We have 67 uh, modus tollens problems and 66 modus ponens problems. And of course, we are just looking at it completely. And you can you saw when I tried to put the average true and average false in there, we would want to divide it by, we would want to filter by true and by false or, or any of these other categories here. Um, and so what, what, what's, and what's going to end up happening here is the proportion's not going to be, the proportion should be around 0.5 if we have the true and falses in there. That's just what's going to happen with this data. But you can see when I change the hypothesis that um, 
the, my p values change. Proportion doesn't change. My p values change based on what I'm doing. And I can get my confidence intervals here. We'll just leave the default as as 95%. And you can see that these are the confidence intervals for these proportion values. And you can see mt is 0 0.504. Of course, that's not different from 0 0.5. And then mp is uh, 0.496 again not different from 0.5. They're actually both 0.004 away from the cutoff value. But if I change this to 0.25 for just, um, doesn't make any sense, but just to show you what happens when you do that, you can see that because my proportions don't change, right, because that's just the data, but my p-values now change because these are now significantly greater than 0.25, which is how you would do a binomial test. So if I change it back to 0.5, then we get this. And there's really nothing else to binomial tests. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial video. Stay tuned for more Jamovi tutorial videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.